Welcome to the Loose Cannon, number 14. It's a vlog, in case you didn't know. I used to say podcast, vodcast. Call it what you like, cast, but I'm going to stop doing that as from now. That's my New Year's resolution, or New Season's resolution. Not New Season just yet, but the pre-season kicking in. And, uh, of course, it's all about who we're going to get in the transfer market. Well, you've got to look at the Montpellier players. Uh, there's a number of them that I've I've been checking out. I've checked out the age profiles of some of them. Eunice Belhanda. Only 22. He's been put into the playmaker position. Obviously, Montpellier winning the French League. 28 games, 12 goals. That's a decent return. And Morocco International. And um, he's been described as a new Robert Pires. You can't do much worse than that, can you? So he's a, he can play on the wing as well. So that's the kind of player I'd like to see us sign. Hopefully we will. Uh, another player who's um, done very well this season, Mapu Yanga Mabiwa. He's 23. Uh, he uh, is an ex-France under-21 international, um, so obviously um, a top player, a versatile defender, and he's the skipper of uh, Montpellier. And yet another player we may well look at, but I don't think so. He's a France international with one goal in three games, Olivier Giraud. Uh, he's 25. He scored 33 goals in 71 games for Montpellier. Uh, he got 21 goals last season, plus nine assists. So uh, no wonder he's valued at 50 million euros or 60 million euros. Uh, depends what mood the, uh, the Montpellier chairman is in, I, I suppose. Obviously, we don't necessarily need to spend uh, in regards to uh, bringing in new strikers because we've got Podolski already. Joel Campbell's coming back and he's hoping to hit the ground running next season. Uh, looks like, uh, well, fingers crossed his work permit um, problems will be sorted now. Uh, obviously, being Costa Rican, uh, it's not the best nationality to secure a work permit, especially when you're a youngster like he is. Um, some other players I'd love to see in. Notice the tie here. It's not because I want to be on ESPN, although if they do call, uh, you know, you know, just connect, connect with me through this website. Um, anyway, ESPN, uh, they were the Soconet press pass team. Uh, we're talking about Arjen Robin and saying basically he's got psychological problems. I'm sad to hear that, but he was a great player. He, one of the one of the press gang or whatever they call themselves, said he's not world class. I'd hate to disagree with them, but I think they're completely wrong about that. I think Robin, on his day, is world class. He managed um, 15 shots against Chelsea, only five of which were on target. But if you don't if you don't try, you don't score, do you? And uh, you know what they say about lottery tickets and so on. I won't use that hackneyed old phrase, but. Um, Anyway, I certainly would love to see him at Arsenal. I don't think that's going to happen because of his age and his injury record. Um, same probably goes for Didier Drogba. He's out of contract. Is he going to stay at Chelsea? We don't know. Um, and Arsenal obviously been linked with the player. We could have had him back in the day, but for one reason or another decided not to. Same goes for Yaya Toure, obviously at Manchester City now and a Champions League, uh, sorry, a, a Championship or League title winner with uh, Manchester City. Um, another one that got away. Uh, Fernando Torres is not one that we've been heavily linked with, but uh, some of the Guna podcast team uh, would like to have him at uh, Arsenal. Me too. I'd go along with that. Um, I'd love. I'd love to see him at Arsenal. He's clearly unhappy uh, at Chelsea, not playing from the start in the Champions League final, and uh, same went for the uh, for the FA Cup as well. So hmm, perhaps we we can get him. You never know. Stranger things have happened. Solomon Kalou, we were heavily linked with in the past, and uh, we had an outside chance of getting him, but it sounds like he's going to re re-sign at Chelsea. So you never know. There could be a Chelsea fallout, even though they've won the Champions League. It could be the beginning of the end of the Roman Empire. We shall wait and see, and um, obviously I'll keep you updated on any Arsenal news. Uh, as soon as I hear it, you'll hear it right here on the Loose Cannon blog.